Hello, welcome to Lazy Design for Lazy People, where I build something poorly for people that are too lazy to do even simple things. And today's designs come from Homer Simpson. In his pursuit to become like Thomas Edison, he creates many, many different and weird contraptions that solve problems that basically did not exist in the first place. And the first one of those inventions was an automatic hammer. And of course, I made it in Lego. And in the actual show, he basically uses some of these pistons to push a hammer head uh, uh, basically up and down so that it's able to move back and forth. And the thing is, when I built this in Lego, I did not have a piston. So I have to come up with an alternative solution to that. So the basic mechanism to push it, to push the hammer head up and down is when we spin the gear back here, you can see these these bars will start moving up and down, but also side to side, but that will probably be fixed later. As you can see, the basic motion we want will be for it to move up and down and it's able to achieve that. And also since we want the hammer head to move back and forth, we install one of these uh, hinge pieces so that it's able to move freely. So when we connect uh, these bars together, As you can see, this means that when we uh, pull the bar up and down, you'll see that it's able to move freely and it's able to actually move back and forth. And there are also hinges here to make it so that it's more flexible and it's able to move to its fullest potential. And finally, we add a motor that's connected to these gears so that it's able to move by itself. And now, when we push this switch down, it will now be able to move. This hammer has many, many different uses. For example, if you want to open the lights, all you have to do, and there you go. And how about if you wanted to kill the ender dragon? Well, well that was easy. So overall, I gave this a <coughs> out of 10. And next up, we have this abomination. So basically, the idea was people who want to lean back in your chair, if you were to lean back too far, you literally fall on your head, basically. And Homer Simpson thought it was a good idea to make something so that it's able to catch your fall. But the thing is, once you are able to land on that stable extra leg, how are you going to get back up? Because you're, you're, now your legs are just dangling up in the air and you can't get back up. And basically that creates a situation where you can't get back to safety, right? And basically I created something that will allow you to be able to get back up to your normal position so that you're able to actually be safe and not fall on your head trying to get back up. So as you can see, simple thing. Once you stay back down, you pull this lever up and boom. Wow, these two small extra feet will allow you to get pushed back up to where you were before. And this uses a very simple mechanism because this has a basic uh, tooth piece that's able to be catched onto this type of gear so that when you're able to uh, spin this, you can see it goes up and down. So basically, a person would just sit on this and they put their center of gravity at the edge, then they'll be sitting straight up. But once they push their center of gravity back, they'll fall back down. But then since uh, the extra legs will catch it, now he needs to get back up. And we use this lever, so you can see, and voila. Now this person's completely safe. He can sit back to where he was before. And overall, I give this a it could save lives. out of 10. In conclusion, even though these designs may seem good on paper, in practice, no one's going to want to pay like triple or twice amount of money for something that they can literally just do in like a few seconds. So the main takeaway from this is that these machines are useless and I wasted my time. Goodbye.